We have been raising quail for quite a while and today we're gonna test out if we can actually take their eggs and hatch our own quails. Now, I know that whenever you get quail eggs from somewhere else, there's around a 60% chance that your quail are actually going to hatch. So there's a 60% hatch rate, which I think is pretty good. And I'm gonna see if our flock have the same or if we can beat it. Now we have around one, two, three, 18 quail right now and there's a mixture of both males and females. I've done a pretty good job of sexting them, but I'm definitely not a sexting genius. <laughs> They're definitely a little bit harder to sext than some other types of animals. So I've tried really hard to kind of put them in the best I can, which is probably gonna cause our hatch rate to go down a little bit. But I'm gonna go ahead, gather some more of these little quail eggs, and then I'm gonna pop them into the incubator. Now that we've got in all of our quail, I've actually taken out our nurture rate 360 which is what we use for incubating our eggs here at our homestead and what we're going to do is throw them into the incubator at the correct temperature and humidity making sure to watch it for the full incubation period and really test out to see how many we can hatch versus not as well as maybe some learnings that we found throughout the way what are your guesses on how many you think we're going to actually hatch put them down below and and we'll get back to you in a couple of days to let you know how they did. I must admit, I did a pretty bad job of keeping track of everything, but it's now been around two weeks since the last time that we chatted and we have a good amount of baby quails. We have two different colors because we actually did start off with a few different varieties. So some of these quails are definitely a mixture of different types of Quaternic quail, but let me grab one. Look at this little cutie. Look at this little cutie. So adorable. And you can tell that they definitely grew up nice, healthy, and this guy's shivering a little bit, but they look super nice, healthy, and the hatch rate was really good. I definitely think that the 60% rate was probably where we got. We have around 18 quail that are hatched out. They're all healthy. They've been <laughs> moving around super energy, which is really good. If they're moving around then like this, they're running around inside their cage, then that's definitely a really good thing. We've already transferred them into their brooder box, which has our ability to turn on and off the heat so they don't overheat or anything, um, which does help with their energy. We have some nice food that we've given them as well as um, some nice water. So I'm going to go ahead, put this guy back in there. Let's talk about some of the things that really helped out our hatch rate. And the first was that I did try to sex all of our quails beforehand. I spent a lot of time in there seeing who was actually laying versus not. There's a few other ways you can actually sex your quail, one of which is by listening to the sound that they make, and another is by looking at their wings, as well as I think you can look at their parts and kind of see what they are as well. There's definitely some YouTube videos on that. I am not great at sexting quails, so I can't give you any tips yet, but definitely making sure you can do the best to figure out where they are and then align them up. We also gave them a really good diet as quails, which really does help form really good eggs. We're actually using a chick feed that we have, which is actually right behind me. And we will also supplement with some additional nutrients as well, because they do need a really high protein diet to come out with a large amount of eggs. And another thing that we did was in the incubation process, you really wanna make sure to set up all the temperatures and humidity really well, make sure that everything's correct and that you're leaving it in a good spot in the house that doesn't have too high of traffic. We've always liked to put it inside of a guest room. This way there isn't too much things going past. It's not like a main entryway. And then once the quails do hatch out, having a nice spot for them to go into right away. So we've had a really good hatch rate. I'd love to see what your hatch rate is and we'll see you guys again next time. Bye.